Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Easy Linguistics in which I'll be making linguistics easy and fun for you to learn. Without further ado, let's get started. As you can see, this is a part of a previous exam of Professor Deraz who teaches in Muhammad First University and it is aimed at um, semester 5 students. So consider the following nouns in Zulu and then answer the questions that follow. So the first question is, what is the morpheme meaning singular in Zulu? So in English, we do not have a singular morpheme that specifies plural um, singular nouns in, in, in English. Instead, we have a morpheme that specifies plural nouns in English, and which is which all you know, everybody, everybody knows, which is, of course, S. So the S, yes, when added to nouns in English, makes, um, makes those words uh, plural. So for example, book becomes books, uh, bottle becomes bottles, um, war becomes wars, etc. But in Zulu, there is a morpheme that specifies um, the singular nouns in, in, in Zulu. So this morpheme is what we are going to look for in this exercise. So the first question is to look for this morpheme, this, this specific morpheme that forms singular nouns in Zulu. So as you can see in list, um, we have two lists here, the first one and the second one. And if, we, if you notice, we have the same words, but these words um, are in the plural form. So we have married women, married women, boy, boys, parent, parents, etc. And in the first list, we notice that what is common among these, um, these words, these nouns, is the um morpheme. All these words uh, contain this um morpheme. And in, on the other side, we have aba. So when we want to form um, plural nouns or plural words in, in, in Zulu, in Zulu language, we just replace this morpheme um with aba in order to form plurals in Zulu. So the, 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 the answer to the first question, what is the morpheme meaning singular in Zulu, is simply um. And the second question, which is, what is the morpheme meaning plural in Zulu? Sorry, I have, um, it's, there is a mistake there. So what is the morpheme meaning plural in Zulu? So I have just said that in order to form plural in um, Zulu, we just have to Re uh, replace this morpheme homo with aba in order to um, you know form plurals in, in Zulu. So um fuzzy becomes aba fuzzy, uh, um funny becomes aba funny, uh, um zali becomes aba zali, etc. So this is the the answer to the to the second question is um, aba. So this is the, the morpheme meaning singular in Zulu, and um is the morpheme meaning singular in Zulu. So this is um, as far as the first part is concerned. Now let's move to the second part. So B. So the following Zulu verbs are derived from nouns, noun stems by adding verbal suffix. So we have fandusa to teach, fanda to read, lima to, to cultivate, baza to carve. And then the, the, the question says compare these words um, to the words in section A. Here is section A. And um, that are related in meaning. Uh, for example, Anfadisi teacher, Abafandisi teachers, and Fandisa to teach. Now, what we have done so far is that we figured we figured out what is the you know the different morphemes that correspond to singular and plural plural forms in Zulu language. But now we have to 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 figure out what is the morpheme or the durational morpheme to be um, specific. The, the derivational morpheme that specifies um, the category verb in this language. So if you notice the list that was given to us, here is the list. We have Pandusa to teach, Fanda to read, Lema to cultivate, Baza to carve. And what is common among these words is this A at the end of the, of, of the verb. We have this A. So for example, we have teacher. If we want to make it a verb, we just remove this morpheme that means singular in Zulu and then replace the end uh, the I this I that is uh, in the end of the verb with an A in order to make a verb in Zulu language. 
So the answer to this um, to the to, to the question to the first question in section B, what is the derivational suffix that specifies the category verb, is simply a. This is the answer to that question. Now the second question is what is the nominal suffix, like the suffix that forms a noun in Zulu language, which is simply so we have to go back to section A and see what is common among these verb among these nouns. So we are not going to look at the morphemes uh, that correspond to singular or, or plural nouns because we have already done that. Now we are concerned with the morpheme that is um, that is that is um, specific to nouns. So um and aba are specific to nouns, yes, but they are specific to plural or singular nouns. So what is all what is what is also in common, I mean in common in these in these words, as you can see, is the i at the end of each word. So we have i amfazi, amfani, anzali, uh, amfandisi, ambazi, etc. So this are uh, this is the morpheme that specifies um, nouns in Zulu language. So the answer to the question to the second question to what is the nominal suffix, like the suffix that forms nouns in Zulu language is simply I. This is the answer to the second question. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you